Hi, welcome back to Lens Pro. Thanks for stopping by. So, if you've ever wondered what the secret is to the perfect magic blowout, I'm gonna tell you in this video. Um, don't be jealous of my turban. That's what I wear at the house. I always ask people if they have a hair towel. That's what I mean. It has the little thing, it connects in the back. So, I'm gonna pull my hair down, and this is real time. If you've ever wondered, like, your my um, high school and middle school after school show I used to watch was uh, Saved by the Bell was one of them, and they'd have these really quick fast forward like um, re like dreams or nightmares, and the dream ones were always good because they were like at a dance and it was perfect, and the nightmare one would be they'd have no clothes on and they'd be taking a test and you'd be like, oh god, this is like a dream one, so. It's like, I'm just got out of the shower, so you just got out of the shower. So we're gonna pretend like we're doing our hair together. And if not, you can remember it for later. So this is the tip, the number one tip. First, not the number one tip yet. Get something to brush your hair out with. This is the Kevin Murphy Young Again. And it's just a silicone product that I'm working through my hair really quickly all the way to the ends. Yeah, my hair is long so I gotta get it all the way to the ends. And then I didn't pre-brush it so I'm gonna hit some tangles because you may hit tangles. Ideally work from the bottom. Sometimes I work from the top because I'm impatient. Whatever you do don't keep jerking it. Just keep kind of pulling it out and working down. You don't want any knots when you start. See, I did it on that side. So just keep brushing it out. If you get frustrated when you're brushing because you have tons of hair, take a little break. I like to have ice water in my bathroom when I'm getting ready. Sometimes I need ice water to blow dry my client's hair because it's very thick. I get hot, start sweating. That's not good, ladies. We do not like to sweat when we're doing hair, even if we're getting paid to do it. So. Just relax and keep brushing. If you have fine hair and it's frizzy and you still want the perfect blowout or it's perfectly what I would call normal hair and you still, it's your hair so you know you don't like it because not many women love their hair or I would be out of a job. Just keep brushing. So, we get our hair nice and brushed out where it is as smooth as we can. It is wet but not soaking wet. The key the magic secret key to the perfect blowout. I'm gonna tell you next. So, if you're still with me, you might notice that my skin is glowing. You might wanna know what foundation I have on. I don't have any foundation on. I have moisturizer on because I'm hot and I'm trying to do my hair in the morning in the bathroom. Because we live in the South here where I film this video. I work in Memphis, I grew up in Louisiana, and I live in Mississippi. It's real, it's weird. Just work through it, people. If you live in the north, I'm sure your bathroom gets hot too. The key to the rough dry is the, oh, I accidentally told you. The key to the secret of blowouts is the rough dry. The rough dry is where you literally take your blow dryer, flip your head upside down, turn it to the side, and dry it as fast and mad as you can. Maybe you even have a fan in your bathroom. My mother went through a period where she had box fans, little fans, stand-up fans, fans about the size of this mirror that were everywhere all over her house at one point in time. I don't need to tell you what was going on in her personal life, but I suspect some of you out there might know about that and still wanna have good hair. So, you get your blow dryer. I'm gonna show you a good little bit of me doing it and some tips on how to do it because a lot of my clients don't really know what the rough dry is and I kind of blow through it like, how do you do this? I need you to come to my house and do this. This is what you can do at your house, girl, fast. It even works with thick hair. Any kind of hair, even really curly hair. You get it 50 to 80% dry depending on how thick your hair is. If your hair is super thick, you want that hair 80% dry before you start trying to dry it with any kind of brush. If you have fine to thin hair, mine's fine, but it's not thin. I have a lot of it and it's actually pretty curly. Um, you want 
pretty much 50 to 60 percent dry or you can get it 80 percent dry it depends on how much frizz you have once it starts frizzing and girls you'll know when it starts frizzing that's the oh crap i'm wearing a hat headband ponytail holder hairdresser lied to me this haircut is not easy to do once you hit that level i have something next for you so you're going to take your blow dryer you see this it comes in every box that when you buy a blow dryer don't throw it away ladies this equals blow dry success this right here these little lines the closer they are to your hair the frizzier and the I don't know how that part broke off right there happens this blow dry success you want it up and down and wherever you're drying your hair it's blowing straight there it's not blowing in a big circle and creating circular frizz more curls so rough dry get your hands in there get the roots dry first roots are in the skin we all know that we call this part our roots everyone does it except for really awesome technical hair dryers and we call that new growth sometimes I do it hold the hair tight this is for some of you type A personalities every morning when I get ready I don't wash my hair every morning because I'm not that with my hair but for you ladies I understand because when I do blow dry my hair I am I, I do get a little there for us curly haired ladies or any type of frizz or wave you want to dry the first part of your hair if you have bangs or some kind of slight fringe fringe is what we call long bangs they call it fringe in the hair world everyone else calls it bangs I know you call it bangs so get that dry first with a brush preferably um, before the rough dry and then this is the rough dry what I'm doing moving the hair like really hard at the scalp getting it dry moving it around it's gonna get big it's gonna get frizzy see how mine's coming out more you want that I'm gonna go away and dry it like that really quick I'm gonna show you some on camera most of it I'm gonna do off camera because it takes me 15 minutes and you're not gonna watch me here for 15 minutes to dry my own hair you know how to dry your hair you're probably getting hot thinking about it it doesn't have to be on full hot you can do it on medium you can do it on cool but what you want to do also is get the underneath area in the rough dry that's a good area to get Real big. You pull it out well, my favorite is you flip your head over and then you got the back of your head and you just rough dry it like like I was doing with the front of my hair so obviously I'm on camera so I cannot gracefully rough dry the back of my hair as vigorously as I know a lot of you are gonna do that's how I do it at home the faster the quicker the better on the rough dry then you'll section it off how you would do I'd say two or three sections but I'm gonna get mine rough dried about halfway and I'll be right back okay well that was a job and I am back and I definitely have my water with me I just got this cup out of the bathroom cuz I'm upstairs in my art room well Sorry, excuse me. I'm in my beauty room. It's, it's my craft studio, art room. I'm going to watch TV without watching a car show tonight. Oh, I hope my friend Emily's laughing her butt off at this video because she thinks I'm hilarious. I think she's hilarious. We love each other. I hope you have a friend like that out there. You're blessed if you do. And I just thought about this. I'm not going to have to fix my hair for church in the morning. That is just so great. Anyways, so the, the, mine's about 95% dry. From here to here, it's damp. I would say it's dry. I would go to work like this. I would let it get wavy on the bottom. I don't care if it got a little bit frizzy because that's kind of in style for this long hair look I got going on right now. I mean, it's long. So, no extensions. It's just long. I love extensions, but I pick them out. They're wonderful. I do them for clients. I love them. I think they're great. I'm a picker and I pick them out all day long. So, um, I had to grow all this hair. Anyways, besides the point, um, rough dry. Dry your hair quick, fast, and in a hurry. 
by drying it in an unruly way. That's how we do it really quick while we're talking to you. And then all of our hard round brush work, that or flat brush, seems like how we get there. It's the quick, flat, quick dry, rough dry. I don't know how other stylists call it, but um, we get halfway there by cutting your hair if that's how we're doing it because it gets halfway dry, but you can achieve the same thing by just drying it real fast upside down and um, then you'll take it into your normal sections. I recommend most people ear to ear in the back. Clip that up. I am not that prepared so I don't have a clip. You'd clip that up. Then you're going to have this section. If you have short hair, that's all you need. The bottom section, unless you have a bob, you might want to subsection that just right down the middle into, into two little sections so you can get that bottom part really straight or really flipped out. If you're sectioning out something you're flipping out, you're wasting too much time. Take your hands, flip it when you're, dry, when you're rough drying so you're only smoothing out that top part. Save you a lot of time and sweat. I must be having a moment because I am burning up in my airs on up here. So I wish you the best of luck. If you made it through this whole video, thank you for watching. Um, my throat is killing me. It's been hot, cold, hot, cold here in Tennessee and Mississippi, and it is killing us down here. So if you're having great weather or you're having snowy weather, you could be having like bipolar weather like we got down here. So. Um, my voice may sound uh, really harsh and way more southern than I want it to. So, happy days and nights to all of you and may your blow dry dreams happen. You're not going to believe it. I'm doing one of my videos and I mentioned you. And I'm, don't talk. Don't talk. I have to edit it out every time you talk. I am so hot, I had to put a headband on and I got half my hair turned up. Just text it. I told you to text it, it's on silent. Yes, I mentioned you in the video. Who else would I mention? You're the one. You're Okay, well. I don't know. I'm hot. I can't I can't go back to it right now. I'm burning up. I don't think it's funny when you're on texting me stuff or FaceTiming trying to be quiet while I'm trying to do my thing. Okay, Emily. Okay. I'll do it while you're on there. Hold on. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with all future videos.